The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race at Fish concluded for Marlinsville Speedway, and what looked like was going to be a very clean win for Christian Eckes turns into a very controversial win for Christian Eckes at Martinsville. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to your video. I just got done watching the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race at Marlinsville Speedway. The zip by now, pay later 200. We have quite a bit to talk about from this race. Let's go and talk about it. So, before the green flag drop in today's race, Tanner Gray, Tyler Ankrum, Clayton Green, and Justin Carroll would have to go to the rear of the field. So at the start of the race, you have Christian Eckes lead the field from the inside and Ty Majeski on the outside. And Christian Eckes got a fantastic start and was able to clear for the race lead. And then Christian Eckes would continue to dominate, pull out to a couple second lead. The first caution race to come out lap number 36 when Matthew Gold slowed on the front stretch, had some sort of electrical issue, was slow on the front stretch and couldn't get back to the pits. That would bring out the first yellow and first caution. Tough break for Matthew who had a good opportunity there. Then during the first caution, Ben Rhodes, Johnny Sauter, Matt Craft, and Stuart Fries, and Daniel Dye, Connor Zilich, Grant Enfinger, Timmy Hill, Landon Lewis, Bailey Curry, Dawson Sutton, Corey Day all came down pit road while the rest leaders stayed out. So then on the restart, you have Christian Dacus lead the field from the inside with Ty Majeski on the outside, and Christian Dacus got a fantastic restart and was able to clear for the race lead. Meanwhile, Roger Kruf catched some curb and got a little bit of damage on the truck, but was able to continue going. And then Raj Kruf started having a lot of trouble near the end of stage number one and got in the outside wall and got a ton of damage, but it wouldn't matter at the end as Christian Eckes would come off the corner and win stage number one. And then during the caution, Matt Crafton, Lane Riggs, Taylor Gray, Timmy Hill, Jake Garcia, Dawson Sutton, Jack Wood, Brett Moffitt, Roger Kruf all come down pit road while the rest leaders stay out. So then on the restart, you have Christian Eckes lead the field from the inside with Ty Majeski on the outside, and Christian Eckes got a fantastic restart and was able to clear for the race lead. And at this point, Christian Eckes will continue to put up a dominating clinic, would pull out to nearly a four or five second lead at one point in stage number two. They wouldn't catch him. And then a lap number 98, the third caution of the race, or second caution race, would come out for Dylan Lupton, who crashed in turn number two. I'm not exactly sure what happened to the truck, to be honest with you. It looked like he had some sort of tire issue, would crash into the outside wall, ending his day. This would end stage number two, with Christian Eckes coming off the corner and winning stage number two. And then all lead lap trucks would come down pit road, except Ben Rhodes, who decided to stay out to try to play some strategy, with Christian Eckes winning the race off of pit road. So then, and at this point as well, Raj Kroof would end up going to the garage. This one, unfortunately, and Raj Kroof's chance at a playoffs. They had some sort of brake trouble on the truck, I believe, and it kind of took them out of contention. This would, sadly, end Raj Kroof's chances to race for a championship. So then on the restart, you had Ben Rose lead the field from the inside with Christian Eckes on the outside, and Ben Rose actually got a really strong restart and was able to clear for the race lead. And then a couple laps later, because Christian Eckes had way fresher tires than Ben Rhodes, he caught Ben Rhodes going into turn number three and bumped him in the back and moved Ben Rhodes up the track, and Christian Eckes was able to get the run and clear for the race lead. And then Christian Eckes would start continuing to dominate at this point. Meanwhile, Raj Kruf would return to the racetrack 20 laps down, but his chances, like I said, were over to compete for a championship. And at this point, Christian Eckes was starting to extend his lead. By lap 132, he had a 3.2 second lead. By lap 160, Christian Eckes had a 6 second lead over the rest of the field over Nick Sanchez. However, everything would change with 38 laps to go when Kenny Honeycutt made contact with the outside wall after battling a bleed for 13th position, had a flat tire on the truck, and hit the outside wall really hard, bringing out the caution. Tough break for Kenny Honeycutt, who was having a really strong run. Just a tough break there for the 45 team. His day, unfortunately, would end up coming to the end. And then meanwhile, Daniel Dye would end up coming down pit road, and his night would come to an end. And then we saw some strategy. Ben Rhodes, Taylor Gray, Grant Enfinger, Corey Hyde, Matt Crafton, Connor Zillish, Dawson Sutton would all come down pit road while everyone else stayed out. So then on the restart, you have Christian Eckes lead the field from the inside with Nick Sanchez on the outside, and Christian Eckes got a fantastic restart and was able to clear for the race lead. Meanwhile, Taylor Gray was starting to charge his way up to the front. He had a top five truck most of the evening, but did start a little bit farther back. He was going to need a caution if he was going to have a chance and opportunity to beat Christian Eckes. He would get that caution on lap 181 when Dean Thompson, his teammate, just straight up went into the back of his brother, Tanner Gray, and dumped him going into turn number three, collecting Brett Moffitt and Corey Day also got caught up in the wreck as well. I do not know what Dean Thompson was trying to do there, to be honest with you. Very un 
unsportsman life from Dean Thompson. You know, a guy that's only there because of money at this point. Just a really careless and really stupid move on Dean Thompson's part. I don't understand why he was pissed off there. Really stupid in my honest opinion. So then during the caution, Lane Riggs, Matt Crafton, William Swatch, and Tyler Ingram would come down pit road. And then on the restart, you have Christian Eckes lead the field from the inside with Taylor Gray on the outside. And Christian Eckes got a really strong restart and was able to clear for the race lead. And Taylor Gray was about to make the move to try to get the lead from Christian Eckes. However, the final caution of the race would come out with 11 laps to go when Chase Purdy just completely sends it in the corner going into turn number one, runs into Grant Enfinger who spins into Stuart Friesen, and Johnny Sauter gets collected as well. Another super move by Chase Purdy. I do not know what he was doing out there. He had a really good night going, so pretty bad bonehead move on Chase Purdy's part who got in the back of Grant Enfinger. That hurt their chances and cost him a shot at a really good run. And then we get to the final restart of the race with Christian Eckes leading the field from the inside and Taylor Gray on the outside. And Taylor Gray actually got a much better restart than Christian Eckes and cleared going into turn number one. But then going into turn number three, this is where all the chaos started. Christian Eckes just didn't even try to make the corner and bumps Taylor Gray way up the racetrack after Taylor passed him clean, bumped him up the racetrack and dropped Taylor Gray back to fifth, taking him out of contention. Meanwhile, Ben Rose got to the back bumper of Christian Eckes and moved him up the racetrack to take the race lead. And then with three laps to go, Christian Eckes got to the back bumper of Ben Rose and sent him into the shadow realm and sent him way up into the outside and he got to the race lead. Ben Rhodes and Chase Purdy then would battle for second. As they came to the white flag, Christian Eckes had a couple tenths of a second lead over Ben Rhodes, and Ben Rhodes was trying to do everything he could to get back there to get some retaliation on Christian Eckes. But it would not matter at the end, as coming off the final corner, Christian Eckes would come off the corner and win a very controversial race, and win his fourth race of 2024, and lock his way into the championship four. After the race concluded, Taylor Gray was very, very angry and very frustrated. He would run in the back of Christian Eckes going into turn number three, and there would be some contact between both of the trucks. And then after the race concluded, we saw Taylor Gray get out of his truck. Media was trying to talk to him, but the security was basically telling all the media members, including Amanda Busick, to back off. Taylor Gray would walk back down to the racetrack to confront Christian Eckes on the win. And he was not very happy. Luckily, there was no pushing and not much pushing and shoving. There was a little bit of pushing that happened from Taylor Gray. But Christian just wanted to express his frustration with Christian Eckes after the race concluded. He was seen red at that point and absolutely had every right to be pissed. In my opinion, Christian Eckes no doubt had the best truck. There's no denying that. And he absolutely deserved to win that race until that happened. In my opinion, if you've got to move somebody out of the way like that multiple different times, that one time or two time, that is not the best move you can make on the track, in my opinion. But that's what happens when you have this winning your end system kind of stuff come into play. If the winning your end system wasn't a thing, I don't think you see Christian Eckes kind of do that stuff because Christian Eckes would already be competing for a championship and would have already won the championship without these rounds and all that kind of stuff. But Christian Eckes, in my opinion, did have the best truck. But Taylor Gray absolutely has every right to be pissed off and frustrated. He got bumped multiple different times, and he passed him clean. Taylor Gray legitimately passed Christian Eckes clean for the win, and I think he just got dumped, unfortunately. He didn't get dumped completely and spun out, but he got dumped up the track, and Taylor Gray has every right to be frustrated. You know, he's very close to getting it done, and I get Taylor Gray being frustrated and upset, and he has every right to be frustrated, in my opinion. As for Christian Eckes, he no doubt had the best truck. But this is going to be a very controversial win. Maybe the most controversial win for Christian Eckes. And Christian Eckes has generally up until this point been a very clean racer. So it really surprised me to see him do this kind of stuff. I was very frustrated to see that. But at the same token, same time, he had the best truck. He's led over a 1,000 laps this year. He's been the best truck, in my opinion, most of the year. So I guess you can say he deserved it, but I get why everyone's pissed off at him for that because I think that was not a very clean move on his part, in my opinion. And the drivers behind him have every right to be really, really frustrated. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the race results, and I'll give my score and thoughts on today's race. So Christian Eckes picks up the win. Ben Rose finishes second, nearly came back to win this thing. He had a really solid truck tonight, had a top 10 truck, one of his better runs of the year. Showed some really good speed. He gets a really strong top five finish in second. 
Great night for Ben Rhodes. Chase Purdy finished third. Yes, he had the controversy with dumping a couple guys in front of him, but he legitimately had a really strong truck tonight, ran top 10 most in the evening, qualified up front, and legit showed some good speed. Solid night for Chase Purdy, finishing in third. Taylor Gray finished fourth. I feel bad for Taylor Gray. It looked like he was going to win this race very fairly and very cleanly, and he just got dumped when it became very likely he was going to get it done. I get Taylor Gray's frustration. He still had a really great night tonight, but he's going to be disappointed. He will not be racing for a championship at Phoenix. He finishes in fourth. Nick Sanchez finished fifth. Nick had a top three truck all night. I really thought he was going to be the guy to have a chance to beat Christian. He just never had anything for Eckes or Gray at the end. He still had a really good day, though. But unfortunately, Nick Sanchez will also not compete for a championship at Phoenix. Lane Riggs finished sixth. Expect more from Lane tonight, to be honest. He did have a top five truck early, but got trapped back there because of strategy. They tried to play strategy, and it really didn't work out at the end for them. But still, a really solid night for Lane to get a top ten finish. He was my pick coming into the weekend to get it done. It was a solid night for him. He finishes in sixth. Corey Heim finished seventh. Kind of a disappointing night for him. Yes, he will be racing for a championship at Phoenix, but man, Corey Heim absolutely just did not have the truck tonight. It's kind of surprising to see this team be a little bit more mortal than they've been early in the year. He had an all right night, ran top 10, but that truck was fading near the end of the event. He finishes in seventh. Tyler Anker finished fifth. After being awful in practice earlier today, they got that truck a lot better, and he comes home with a top 10 finish. A solid night considering how far they were back early in the race. A good night for Tyler. Unfortunately, he will not race for a championship at Phoenix by finishing in eighth. Grant Infinger finished his knife. He will race for a championship. He got into multiple incidents throughout the night, but still comes home with a very solid top 10 finish. They were terrible in practice, but they got that truck better. He finishes in ninth. And Stuart Friesen finishes 10th. A solid night for Stuart. Was inside the top five early. They got that truck all right and does get a very solid top 10 finish. A one place finish for Ty Majeski. Majeski was up front, but unfortunately faded back near the end. He does come home with a top 15 finish. He will race for a championship at Phoenix. He had a top three truck most of the night. I think they pitted near the end of the race to cost him a shot at a great run. He still finishes in 11th. Connor Zilch finished 12th. Decent night for Connor. I think he had a top 10 truck. I didn't think he was going to have a chance to win, to be honest with you. But I do think that Connor Zilch had one of the best trucks in the field without question at points. We've seen Kyle Busch, of course, have a chance to win in this truck. It was a solid night for Connor. He finishes in 12th. Matt Crafton finishes in 13th. William Swalch ran in the top 10 a lot of this race. He unfortunately, though, ends up finishing in 14th. Dawson Simon is a solid top 15 finish, not a bad night in 15th place. Bailey Curry finishes in 16th. Dean Thompson, who caused multiple incidents, he finished in 17th. Corey Day, who got caught up in a couple wrecks, he had an all right night, ran top 20 most in the evening. He finishes 18th. Matt Mills coming back after being sent to the hospital for a couple days after the Connor Jones situation. He comes home with a top 20 finish. Not a bad night for Matt Mills in 19th. Jake Garcia finished 20th. I think that's his first top 20 in a long time. It's just been a disastrous year for the 13 team. He's not been much better than Haley Deegan this year. It's just been a struggle for the 13 team. He finishes in 20th. Timmy Hill finished 21st. Spencer Boyd finished 22nd. Law Sound finished 23rd. Clayton Green finished 24th. Justin Carroll finished 25th. Jack Wood finished 26th. Matthew Gold finished 27th. Johnny Sauter, after getting crashed out, finished 28th. He had an all right night going early. He was running in the top 10 area most of the night. Just got caught up in a couple wrecks at the end and finished in 28th. Tanner Gray, after getting crashed out, finished 29th. Brett Moffitt, after getting crashed out, finished in 30th. He just never had the pace and speed tonight to get 10. He just not a good night overall for him. Raj Kruft, after his issues, finished in 31st. His playoff hopes are over. Still a very solid year for Raja, but he'll be looking to try to turn around going into next year. Dale Dye, after having engine issues, finished 32nd. Caden Honeycutt finished 33rd. Dylan Lupton finished 34th. Landon Lewis finished 35th. And Norm Benning finished last in 36th. So now let's talk about the overall race as a whole, and I'll give my score and thoughts on today's race. For the most part, this race was generally really, really clean. The first 150, 160 laps were really, really clean. But I don't think the racing was that great, to be honest. Sure, it was very, very clean. But I don't think the racing was absolutely that exciting, to be honest with you. I think it definitely could have been a lot better. It did improve near the end of the race. We had some bumping and banging near the end for the final five laps. I do like a lot more clean racing than just bumping guys up the racetrack to try to win. But sometimes that can create some really exciting stuff. Originally, I was going to give this race probably a 6 out of 10. I'll probably increase the score to about a 7 to 7.2 out of 10 a little bit. As the finish was definitely very interesting, but I don't think it was the greatest race overall. The broadcast also did not help that, in my opinion. So I think the broadcast tonight was just not that great, in my honest opinion. 
So, that is going to be it for tonight's NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Race Review from Martinsville Speedway. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on to notify when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me through Facebook and Instagram and support my Patreon as well. <clears throat> Link description below for that and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. What are your th thoughts on tonight's NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Race? Let me know them in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, we're going to have the starting lineup video, not starting lineup video, reactions to Cup Series qualifying from today's race in Martinsville. We also will have an SVG video dropping in the Xfinity review. And on Sunday, we'll have the starting lineup video, the Cup review, and most likely a Shane Van Gisbergen video dropping on the channel as well. We'll also talk about drivers like Bubba Wallace, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson on Sunday, and probably talk about Chase Lane, maybe Carl Lewis, all those kind of people, and like Kurt Busch later this week as well. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.